obviously a few new things happening you may have noticed we'll talk about it during the video let's get into it Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 40 of our FM21 DeGroff Shop Save, our single team save. If you like what I'm doing, please consider hitting that like button. That certainly gets more eyes on each video. By the way, we are on a league high run of consecutive videos with double digit views. I know for some of the big guys, that's, uh, you know, the first 10 seconds of an upload, but 10 or more views for me is kind of a big deal, and we've had quite a few at 20 or more, so keep it up, uh, and you are getting a big thumbs up from me. Also, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to get the daily reminders when I upload daily Football Manager content. Let's get into the business. First off, new desk, new spot in my house. It's only about 10 feet from over there uh, where my old desk was. I've got it mostly set up, still have a lot of things to move around. The rest of the living room is a wreck, but we've got my little area kind of coming together. Uh, so I wish I could, you know, I wish I could push my desk farther out and you could have more view back here, but it is what it is. Um, I'll probably do an off can you know, a non-play uh, playlist video where I'll just kind of show you around the new area, but... Let's get into today because we have a lot of transfers to get into. Last episode, we hit the highlights and we were up through July 1st. So you saw Vigneron, Meyer, Krisnick come in, uh, Aaron and Banat. Uh, but coming in after that, uh, we did move off Anton Sakalo to Farron Varos for one and a half million. So our Japanese center fielder, center fielder, I'm thinking baseball, center midfielder, he is gone. Orlan Jacobs goes to RKC for four hundred thousand. Uh, we bring in Tay Tak J Hyung from Seoul for two hundred and thirty-five thousand. He is a twenty-four-year-old goalkeeper. Uh, not too bad. Uh, Three-star potential. He'll be in the mix for the backup role. Dano Muhlenstein, a free transfer. He's a 22-year-old Dutch attacking player. Can play all the way across the field as an attacker. Uh, two and a half star current ability. Three and a half star potential. Decent enough crossing. A lot of pace. So he'll be in the mix there. A lot of pros uh, from the coaching staff. And Sjord Nulsen from RKC. $220,000. 26-year-old Dutch left back. Can also play center back. Heading is okay. Jumping reach is okay. And at 5'11", he's a touch short, but he could play there. But he's a left back for us. Again, true left footer, good crossing, uh, good pace, acceleration. The only thing he's really lacking is natural fitness. So expect to see him fall off. Uh, but he'll be gone before he's uh, too far into his 30s. Pretty good uh, traits as well. Moving into the current season. Uh, we have another seven and a half million in incoming revenue and two and a half million in outgoing. Uh, Amon Ayu goes out on loan. Uh, Adolfo Elena goes out to for two point one to OHL. Uh, he just you know I liked him. He just never broke into the side. Just was you know was really never in the mix. So we pick up some money for him. Uh, Nemeth goes off to Cluj for two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Uh, he started a lot of games for us, but just uh, felt he was expendable. Picked him up for four hundred and fifty. Had him for four years. Uh, definitely saw his playing time reduced last year. Five starts, nine reserve in the league, and that was after thirty-one starts, twenty-six starts, being a full-time starter. So he lost his spot last year. Felt we could let him go. Uh, Vander goes goes off to Lugano for two hundred seventy five thousand. Shedahol goes off to Almere City for four point nine million. Thirty years old again, very similar. We paid seven million for him. Very regular player, good creator for us, and then just last year kind of lost his spot. 
Uh, we had some younger players, some new additions, and so felt we needed to cash in on him. Tim Opdan, he's been out on loan forever. Uh, we just moved him on to RKC for two hundred and fifty thousand. Paul DeVries, we had a kind of a log jam in our in our striker position. He goes off to NEC for a one point two. Vanden Brock, a young player for one hundred and five thousand to Excelsior. David Sebastian goes out on loan, and Joey Udshorn goes to Hellman for sixty-five thousand. Again, another young player, sixteen years old, very limited ability. Coming in, we saw. Uh, I think we just looked at that guy, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right, so you've already seen him, uh, Eldridge Fermina, a free transfer. This was one of the guys that uh, was released on a free. And he's a pretty good goalkeeper, so he's going to be in the mix. And he's from Curacao, so we've got we've got some familiarity with a Curacao player. Uh, he's not bad, and that gives Bacario somebody from his nationality to uh, partner up with. And Joseph Kaisella from from who is that? Borno. I was thinking that was like. I don't. I didn't even know who it was. Anyway, Czechoslovakia, uh, two up to two point eight million. Twenty-two uh, year old center back, six foot two, very very good. What are you? Uh, I'm in a new spot. You gonna get in my business, huh? Cats are still here. Dogs are still here. No, get off of me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, very. What? No, go. A uh, very good heading, tackling. Uh, I think he is going to be in the center back mix probably as a starter. Four star ability already maxed out and five million dollar value. So I think we did some good business getting people at value, and we've covered our expenditures with uh, incoming fees. So financially, we are sitting on uh, thirty-seven and a half million in the bank. 13.2 million in our transfer budget and about 240,000, almost a quarter million dollars in payroll uh, space that we've got. Everything else looks really good. Taking a look at our schedule, there's our friendlies and our goal scores. Uh, you can take a look at that. And today we are going to be playing Fortuna Sitard. So let's get to the opening match of the season. Oh, by the way, I guess we ought to look at where we are slated to finish. They just want us to avoid relegation. And we're picked to finish 14th. So we've got our work cut out for us. All right, we're going to go with Delcra in goal. Krujan, Gerver, Kaisela, and Barisic on the back line. Grutuk and Meyer breaking into that midfield slot. Resnick on the right, Servink on the left wing, Krizik, Kinjik, I have no idea, and Vicario up top. Let's go with that. He takes number 23 out of the bin. And let's get started. Excited to see how the new guys do. All right, we're in the blue and white. Grutuk intercepts the throw in. That's good. Vicario's looking for space, but Kringic, oh, Kringic's taken down in the box. That is going to be a penalty. Vicario goes over and congratulates him on drawing that penalty. They're going to double-check VAR for the penalty, but I'm pretty sure that was. Either that or it was a really good dive. Yep, and it is a spot foul. And who is going to be? It's going to be Gerber coming up from center back to take the penalty. And he places it right in the bottom left corner. The opening goal of the season, and we're out to a 1-0 advantage. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the moves that we did this offseason. Any of those guys going to make a big impact for us? As you can see in the starting 11 today, not a huge change. I keep wanting to cross my arms, but I think the camera has a bigger angle now. And that, uh, oh, what a crossover by Vicario for his goal. Elvis Barisic with the assist. That's one of the new updates in the winter update for FM21. It lists the uh, assist player. But that was a great... Oh, just turned it all the way across the keeper. 2-0 advantage in the eighth minute. 
and we are looking dangerous today. Fortuna Sittard has been one of those clubs that have really given us problems over the seasons. Oh, and that was going to be in. Krinjic gets the goal. Resnick with the assist, a debut goal, but boy, that goal, that ball should have been in on the first, first touch. And we're 13 minutes into our season, and we've got three goals already. Oh, that was brilliant. Unlucky bounce went off instead of into the net. But a good run by Krinjic on his debut. And that puts us top of the league with a plus three goal differential. We're going to give them some praise here. They are certainly playing well. I don't know where Fortuna was picked to finish this year, but again, just looking at them historically, a club that has really given us some fits. And there's Kaisela with his first goal and a debut goal coming off the set piece for the new center back. And he is doing the business for us already. Takes two steps back behind Fair and goes up, puts that in the goal. Gerber dragging a little bit, but he'll rebound a little bit at the half. What a first half. 15 shots, 9 on target, a 2.2 XG, and 3, 4 into the net. Oh my goodness. Let's get back out to the second half here. We are going to praise again. Gerber is looking tired. So goals from both center backs. Oh my goodness, Kaisela with a brace on his debut. Both coming off of corners. And we have not had anybody that has looked that threatening off corners this entire save. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Another another corner. Oh, we failed there. Might have to bench that guy. Resnick. Come on. Somebody close down, please. Oh, no. And Gabor Elick gets the goal off the Mark Stevens assist. Beaten at the near post. I wonder if that's why they wanted to uh, play somebody else over there. All right, let's go in and, all right, Gerber's on a yellow and he is tired. So let's bring on Samir for him. And then we're going to bring on, uh, I want to give Vigneron his debut. So another de debutante coming in. All right, let's encourage him. Uh, they're not liking any of that. Looks like they are really tightening down here. All right, let's go in and make our last sub. Let's bring Thielmans in. Let's bring him in for Gratunk. Yeah, he can he can play that position. Thielmans is not happy with us. That dates back to the off season, end of last year actually, when he want you know he decided he wanted to move to a bigger club. Barisic. With a little toe poke. There's Vigneron. There's Thielmans. Good pass. Good run. Crossover and the shot by Meyer goes over. Or he would have been looking at a debut goal as well. Well, that first outing of the season, we probably can't ask for much more than that at all. We're going to go with the outstretched arms, follow the assistant manager, and we will be happy with that. Top of the table, plus four on the goal differential. 5-1 final. Gerber, Vicario, Krinjic, and Kaisela with a debut brace. Gotta like that. Especially beating a team that has kind of owned us. Scored his first goal. 10 matches. Well, luckily, he uh, he plays for us now and uh, doesn't have to worry about that. Kaisela, immediate impact. Two goals, three key hitters. He's already got very high morale. 
And yeah, what was it? A uh, does it tell us how many? No. Oh no, that I thought it was nine. Oh well. All right. Well, we make a little bit of profit this month, almost uh, three quarters of a million. So that's positive. A lot of that is transfers, but you know that's okay. So we'll come back in pretty short order here. I probably um, we are in the Euro Cup this year. Why don't we come back for why don't we come back for Feyenoord highlights and then the second match of the Euro Cup, fourth qualifying round. Is that right? Fourth qualifying round. But they haven't played the third yet, so we don't know who we're going to be playing. So that'll obviously be a home and away draw. So yeah, we'll come back with Feyenoord for highlights, and then the second leg against whoever it is that we're playing. And uh, won't have much to look at, but we are playing AZ and PSV, so a couple of the higher clubs. Oh, by the way, Fortuna Sitard. Well, they were picked to finish down by us, so... That means we're, you know, hopefully that bodes well for us. And Media Dream 11, doesn't look like we have anybody in there. Our best players, Gerber and Meyer. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just have to earn it again like we did last year. Guys, again, if you like what you see and you want to see more of it, hit that thumbs up button, give a like to the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Daily Football Manager content. Two different saves, Monday through Saturday. We've got this one, single team save. And then on the alternating days, we have a journeyman save. We're currently uh, early days there at Leicester City in the championship, not the Premier League. So rebuilding effort going on uh, up at Leicester. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.